Hello, this is Father David Archibald, and welcome to this weekly short video from St. Andrew's Episcopal Church in Antonio, Texas. This past summer, my wife and I went on vacation. It was a driving vacation. We drove all the way to Colorado and back again, back here to Texas. And it was a funny thing about being on vacation, because it gives me, or it gave me, a different kind of a mindset, a different orientation to the day. So that when things went sideways or not quite right on vacation, well, I just took it as being on like an adventure. And every day, even the problems were not really problems, they were just going in a different direction. So that's when you're on vacation and things are more relaxed. There's not quite the deadline kind of mentality we have on a regular day. And to be honest, everything seems better. The sky is bluer. Every new rock is something that needs exploring. Every different kind of tree we saw required us to take notice. The rivers were more interesting. Uh, even the signs on the road were brand new and we wanted to read them and see where we were and wonder who was over there. And the people become more interesting. You know, we remember the waiters. We remember the people who attended the campgrounds. We remember the people we bump into all over the vacation. And I was thinking that that kind of a mindset or at a deeper level might even be a a shift of awareness or at least a change of perspective, a reorientation of consciousness <laughs> is possible even here when we're at home. When there's a shift of consciousness or a change of awareness, then everything looks different. I was out today, there was not a cloud in the sky, and for once I noticed. I said, this is amazing. This is wonderful, the sky was amazing. But then quickly I fell back into another level of uh, kind of murkiness and cloudiness and back into my grind of the day. But I do think that maintaining that spiritual shift of consciousness on a minute or moment by moment basis is what spirituality is really all about. So in non-religious terms, I'm going to try and have a vacation consciousness even while I'm at home. And I'll feel more alive and more full of joy, even peace and playfulness, a sense of wonder, as the prayer says, a sense of joy and wonder in all of God's works. So I think it's possible it all depends on our state of consciousness and whether we are in a spiritual place or an egoic place. A place of being awake and mindful and aware and conscious of the presence of God or fall back into simply being full of our ego and full of thinking and full of lower level consciousness. So I invite you as I invite myself to a state of vacation consciousness even while we do our regular days. <laughs> Thanks for listening.